Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is John K, and I'd like to thank you for clicking uh, this video of mine, um, which marks um, the uh, yeah the next uh, installment in my uh, How Does That Play Out series. And today I want to take a look at Richard and Alice, a uh, point-and-click adventure game by a studio called Owl Cave. Um, made with, and uh, that's going to come to most of you as a big, big, big surprise, the AGS engine. Adventure Game Studio engine by none other than the legendary one and only Chris Jones. Um, I'm not doing that, I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. This is the third game in a row I think that I have uh, talked about. Uh, maybe not in a row, but uh, that um, in a very short, uh, you know, succession of uh, of games, actually, that uh, has been made with the AGS engine. I apologize. I was not aware of this <laughs> prior to to shooting this video. Uh, well, that's not true. Uh, but you know, prior to like picking this game, playing this, you know, it doesn't really look like it's made with the AGS engine. Let's just put it that way. Um, be that as it may, though. Um, yeah, Owl Cave actually have released uh, a um, another game also made with the AGS engine. It's a rather short one called Masked, which is uh, in a uh, es room escape, like escape the room, room escape sort of game. It's not your, your run of the mill typical type of thing because they tend to focus more on, you know, like the puzzles and, and whatnot. Uh, and not so much um, on the story, although that's, I think, it's a very broad statement, but, you know, more often than not, it's true. Like, they have some ludicrous backstory, like you're uh, trapped in a haunted house or you're abducted by some crazy lunatic guy and you have to escape and whatnot. So this game is actually slightly different and, uh, you know, you can check it out for yourselves, actually. I'm going to leave the links in the description, as always. And um, I'm going to link to the homepage of those guys, and there's also a link to uh, Mast. So, uh, for those of you interested in playing something by uh, the Owl Cave that uh, is currently available for free, you're welcome. Um, so, what is Richard and Alice? Get to the point, man. I'm staring at the start screen. Uh, well, let's actually lo load a game here because Richard and Alice, and uh, let's go into Media's Race, you know, as they say. And let's load the Richard save here. So, this is what it looks like. Um, it is actually a um, point and click adventure game, as I have pointed and clicked out already. Um, set in a dystopian future. So, those of you who are familiar with, and um, this is actually one of my uh, most favorite uh, dystopian uh, novel or narrative, because it's also been turned into a movie, is. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, I think heavily inspired by uh, The Road, um, you know, which has been like, you know, the Viggo Mortensen, the movie featuring Viggo Mortensen, um, which is also a pretty good adaption of the book, in my books at least. Um, and I think they even make like a reference to the book here, I think the uh, the one, the book that's uh, lying on this table here, it's the book I'm reading at the moment. I don't feel like reading right now. Maybe later. Okay. Uh, so um, I think earlier in the game, he makes like a, he talks about like this being a book uh, about like a father and a son, um, you know, in a in a bleak future, blah blah blah. So it's safe to assume that you know, also given the overall theme of the game, um, that that is the case. That this is actually the road by Colin McCarthy. Um, so what is this game about? Um, well, basically, um, the the premise of the whole thing is that Earth has been uh, also or has fallen prey to a um, like a shift in the environment and the weather and the climate, to be more precise, uh, because it's um, it doesn't stop, uh, you know, to snow. Um, so there's a constant snowfall going on there. Uh, and that's what is causing, uh, basically, uh, mankind's demise. So it doesn't stop, uh, snowing, and, uh, we're actually, uh, so this is the outset of the game. We are, this is Richard, this is Alice, uh, who are, uh, Alice, right here, who are actually, uh, the, uh, you know, the protagonists of the game, and also, uh, the ones, uh, the game has been named after. Um... They're currently in a prison facility of sorts, like the remnants of, you know, the uh, type of government um, has installed this bunker and we're being held prisoner here. We're not really sure what for, but this is being revealed as we 
progress in the game. Um, so it controls pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, standard. It's just like gameplay wise, pretty standard point and click adventure fair. Like, you know, we move around here like I've done so. I mean, I can also just like click on stuff because um, I'm not really. Uh, there, there's no uh, voiceovers here, so, you know, I'm pretty safe in that regard. Um, right, the, ty the Typhon project. So, uh, this is basically what's going on here. Um, right. So, our cells are fully equipped with, like, an entertainment set, like a, a TV, a computer, and whatnot. Um... And currently we are, like Alice has arrived a couple of days ago, we play as Richard here and Alice has, has arrived a couple of days ago, we don't know what her story is, there's something going on with her son, she's also, um, um, you can also take over, uh, play Alice, uh, later on in the game because the game actually alternates between, uh, the prison where you control Richard and then the outside world, this is sort of like the story up to the point until Alice's imprisonment where you play as Alice, uh, you know, on the outside. Um, so what we need to do actually, I think uh, we uh, try to like something, something went wrong here and there's no guards anymore. So we try to fiddle with the, uh, the uh, temperature control here with you know, like uh, using this pole that we, um, this makeshift pole that we assembled using various items here. So um, yeah, well, I have to say, like the uh, f like from a from a uh, gameplay sort of standpoint, or like the the puzzles for a point and click adventure game are not that hard, really. Um, they're actually pretty easy, and uh, sometimes actually not all that logical. I have to say, I mean, the game doesn't really focus on puzzles as such um, because it's more it's more about the story and the moral decisions and whatnot. You know, it's like a very, very bleak atmosphere that this game carries. So, um, you know, that's that. Um, and this is actually, um, uh, it's like the, the main point here. Puzzles are sort of like, you know, like sprinkled on the whole thing s as to like, you know, not have you like click through all the, um, the episodes of the game. Uh... Okay, so what do we need to do now? I think we have actually tried to uh, tamper with the uh, ECU here, and nothing is happening. Okay, let's talk to Alice for a second. Let's let's actually play. I'm still here for a minute. It's just it's just Alice. It's me, Richard. Yep, I'm still here. Okay, let's actually try to uh, uh, use our computer here. Okay, let's submit a ticket. I think that's how it went. I've actually finished this game already. I'm going to talk more about that in a second. The Typhon tickets is currently down for routine maintenance. Please activate your in-cell emergency device as detailed in section 64C. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Gorge shall attend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do. Is this the. No, that's the thing. Oh, that's our family photograph. It's a family photo. Okay. Mm, okay, let's talk to Alice. Maybe she's got one. Okay. Hmm, why can't you remember? I never mentioned. Did they actually tell you anything about this place? <laughs> There's the infomercial. There, the thing that we just saw, basically. As well, Mr. Fire. Tell a guard. There are no guards. There are always guards. Hmm. Right, um, <laughs> so yeah, apparently I, I should mention this, there are like, uh, safe zones, like government controlled safe zones where people actually can live in, uh, relative peace with, uh, you know, food and, uh, medicine and whatnot. Uh, let's see if she has a, uh, but the rest of, like, 
you know, by and large, the population, uh, they're on their own, so um, it's, uh, it's a doggy dog world out there. You know, very, very similar to actually the, um, the proceedings in the road. Um, okay, she got a handbook though. Okay. Oh, screw that. I think it was 64C, right? Something with, with a C. Oh, we should have picked another one just for shits and giggles. Emergency device, okay. Standard support ticket procedure. You're joking. Uh, emergency witch when triggered will alert the group. Okay, misuse, okay. Behind the rear panel of your personal vanity unit. Okay. Well, that's useful. Okay, let's actually trigger the alarm. So this is our vanity unit here, I assume. There's a panel here. Okay, let's... Uh, Bet you it doesn't work. Ha! Huh. Told you so. Okay, what do we got? We got nothing in our inventory. We can flush the toilet. Let's go do something. Spare sheet. Okay, wardrobe. Okay, nothing. Computer. Oh, yeah, there's nothing we can do. Okay, cannot submit a ticket right now. Oh, the breakfast plate. Yeah, well, breakfast has been served, so. There must be guards around here. It's only a safety knife. Whatever that means. Okay, let's uh try this out, why not, right? Ah, look at that. Ah. Oh. Look at that. Alice has, like, the way better sell. I mean, she has that emergency handbook. She has the, uh, you know, her, her emergency uh, panel here is easily accessible. Ready, ever Three, two, one. Alright, so that marks the end of uh, this section of the game. Uh, so, you know, and that means the game is shifting over to... Um, to uh, the section where you play as Alice and uh, her son, Barney. Well, not play as Barney, but he's a... He's a, he's a companion of ours, so, um, you know, we gotta take care of him. That's basically what it is. Try to find a way upstairs. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I think this is a pretty uh, long episode here, so I'm gonna probably not finish this, lest I spoil anything. Uh, because um, you know the uh, the puzzles are actually far and few between, so uh, I'm trying to um, you know like not spoil like substantial parts of the game. So, uh, but I think by now you'll, you'll, um, you know, got like the idea of how the game actually works. Okay. Oh, and also autosave. So, um, this is the world after the, um, this, uh, yeah, environmental disaster. There's a dead animal here, fox or something. Okay, I'm not gonna pick this up. And, um,. Right, so we can walk down here. I mean, uh, the walks with Alice and Borny are actually pretty lengthy at times. Um, although the game, like I said, is not too, too long. I think I finished this in like three sessions. 
of very, very unfocused play. I have to, um, you know, to my own dismay, I have to, um, I have to admit that. Um, there's a shed here, so let's check out the door. Okay, what do you got here? Lawnmower. It's gonna be useful. Alice, okay, workbench. Workbench, the Amiga workbench. Okay, uh, the vice. <laughs> Still works. I was gonna say the same. Is that a rusty saw? Can I pick this up? Okay, nope, nope, nope. Is there anything else here? Workbench, nope. Okay, let's leave this godforsaken shed and continue exploring. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um,. So then you go about and uh, I think this is actually, well it's not like the, the puzzle solving part is more like the thing with Richard and the cell because you have to, you know, like assemble like makeshift tools and you know, use stuff in order to get ahead. Here it's more about exploring and talking to people like, you know, this is more like the story heavy part of the whole thing. Uh, we got a statue of an angel. Okay, yeah, we, uh can't reach it okay let's let him rest for a while let's actually uh, continue down here um, so yeah the thing is like that the game is actually um, I mean graphically speaking um, it's not like the uh, the billboard it's not the um, the latest like it's an indie game you know I think uh, it's also okay because um, this game is clearly not about um, Graphics, you know, okay. Oh, a church. Um, it's more about like you know conveying a story and so on and so forth. So it's you know I mean if if you're if you're put off by uh, the uh, pretty simple graphics, then you know you know what you're getting yourself into is is basically what I'm saying here. Um, but you know it's like to me that works fine. You know it's absolutely okay. Let's see what this is. Okay, if you want to read this, uh, pause the game because I will close this. Um, so basically, there's, there's, uh, there have been people around here. We, we're not sure what happened to them. Uh, we, I think they, um, they inhabited the the house that we just left, and there are also the polar bears who are uh, a gang of, uh, I don't know, like marauders that um, capture people and you know. If you know what's, you know, if, you, if you've seen, if you've read the road, you know what's going on here, basically. So it's like very, very close to that. And uh, yeah, so th uh, thematically, um, those games are pretty much alike, uh, or pretty close. Uh, let's try to get into the church here. Um, and, you know, me personally, I, uh, I, I like the road, and, um, well, you know, it's, it's obvious, or like, you know, suffice it to say that, um, the game cannot really, I mean, it doesn't want to in the first place, so, you know, that being said. But, uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't really, uh, you know, like, convey the same message, uh, I think, as the, uh, as the road, like, as the novel. Um, it's slightly different in tone. I mean, it has, like, a, a similar theme to it, you know, similar motifs and everything. But it's not really the same thing, although it's very close, let's put it that way, you know, without spoiling too much uh, about what's actually going on, um, you know, in the story here, or with the story here. Um, yeah, which is actually like the, the huge plus of the thing, like, you know, it's not so much about the puzzles or anything, it's more about, um, you know, what's going on here. Alice's relationship to Barney and to Richard and how they're connected. I mean, there there's a twist at the end of the story. Uh, it also has multiple endings. I should point that out. The door has opened. I'm not going to go through there because, like I said, I, I don't want to spoil things, uh, you know. Don't want to spoil uh, things unnecessarily. Um, and uh, it's like the ending depends on, like, the actions you perform during the game, like during this section and the other one with Richard, uh, which is kind of interesting. So it's more like a... Um, like a um, Silent Hill 2 type of thing where, you know, depending on how you played the game, um, you know, if you, uh, I don't know, always kept your health up and stuff like that, uh, you know, if you helped the other characters, I think it was. It's been a long time since I played that game, but, you know, basically stuff like that that determines 
what ending you're gonna see at the end and you know the same is true for this uh, this thing here uh, there's certain dialogue options there's certain things that you can do or items that you can pick up that determine uh, the outcome of the overall game um, the game is currently available for five dollars ninety nine and for that um, it's uh, it's it's a bargain. I would definitely recommend it because it's not all that much. I think currently there's also a um, a boxed version out there for uh, eight pounds ninety nine if you live in the UK, and I think uh, twelve or like eleven pounds ninety nine if you uh, live outside the UK. That includes shipping, I think. So uh, that's actually you know worth uh, thinking about. I think. The, the, this version is limited to 50 copies, so it's it's not that much, and they actually may have sold out already. You know, um, when you see this. However, I'm going to post the links in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. Um, yeah. Well, uh, having said that, I mean the thing is like the game is um, it's it, you know it, it carries a story. The twist at the end, or the twists at the end, um, you know, depending on the ending that you get. Uh, are, are not like, you know, they're not gonna blow your mind, they're not gonna blast your mind, but um, they are, yeah, I wouldn't say foreseeable, but you know, you, you kind of like get the feeling that there's something coming, you know, it's like, oh, okay, that can't be it, there, there's something going on with uh, also Richard and Alice, you know, how are they connected and blah blah blah, yada yada yada, and you know, Bob's your uncle, so at the end you get like a little bit of a twist, but again, that's not what the game is really about, it's more about like, um, you know, like character building, which is excellently done here. Uh, the relationship, especially between Alice and Barney, the son, uh, but also between Alice and uh, Richard. Also, giving the uh, the story that they share, or as they find out later, um, or as the as the game progresses. Let's put it that way. You know, like the the story um, develops, the relationship develops, and based on that, you know, they start to evaluate certain facts in a different light. Um, so it's it's pretty interesting from that perspective. I mean, honestly, I have to say it's nothing that really uh, blew me off my socks. Um, like I said, because the, the I was sort of waiting for a twist there, which never really came. Um, you know, like I said, the thing, like the story is pretty foreseeable. The theme I like, but then again, it's pretty pretty close to the road. Um, I, I you know, like if if asked, if pressed at gunpoint for my honest opinion, I probably had to say that. Uh, so it's, you know, not that this is something completely new. I mean, for a video game, it is, but then again, you know, being so close to a, uh, a book or a movie that has come out so recently, um, you know, that is sort of still fresh in uh, people's memory, I think. Um, it's somewhat too close. Like, you know, you got several motifs going on there, uh, you know, like, trading with people and stuff like that gangs violent gangs that roam the uh, roam the countryside and then you got the father or mother and son um, theme going on here uh, I mean like I said it's slightly different but a lot of the elements are there so uh, depending on like where you stand on this you know that's either a good or a bad thing uh, I'm just gonna put this out there uh, that it's very very similar again for the price of five dollars ninety nine cents I absolutely recommend that so um right that's actually it from me because you know I uh, I think I said everything that I can also I don't want to bore you with um, too many um, uh, walking around like footage of me walking around the screen here because that's actually kind of boring so I'm gonna leave that as it is. Um, right. Um, like I said, all the descriptions are gonna be, uh, all the links are gonna be in the description as always. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, it's a lot of talking on my part. I realize that now, but still, you know, giving the uh, relatively short duration of the game, you know, and uh, trying to make this as spoiler-free as possible. Um, I hope you understand. And um, so this is a recommendation for me. Um, not maybe for everybody, for but like generally speaking, a generally favorable review of Richard and Alice. Okay, that's it for me, Strong K. Hope you liked the video, and I definitely hope to see you soon in one of my other uh, videos. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye.